Good afternoon and welcome back to the homestead. So as you saw in uh, Sue's earlier unboxing video of the string trimmer, we did a little shopping. Uh, Milwaukee is really good at sucking you in. I mean, all, all the manufacturers are really. So they have a group of tools that uh, they, uh, they're in a category called buy more, save more. So if you spend $300, you save, I think, 30. If you spend $400, you save 100. So, of course, the string trimmer is $299. So, you look at that and it's like, okay, if I spend $101 more, I get $100 off. So, we had been eyeing this chainsaw all along, and that drops its price by $100. So, it's like, well, let's go ahead and get it. And we had the, the uh, 12 amp hour battery that came with the uh, Milwaukee cordless SDS blah, 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 hammer drill. Um, we'll link that video down below as well. So that, uh, I can't remember if it was STS Max or Plus. I think it's Max. Anyway, it's right there, that big box. Um, so we knew we just needed a bare tool. So we picked up the 2727-20. So in the Milwaukee, if you've got a model number, yeah, right there. In Milwaukee, the, four, the first set of digits is the actual tool you're getting. The, the dash and then the number after that is some kind of insignia of what you're getting. Like dash 20 appears to be a bare tool. 21S, I think it is, comes with a, or 21HD. It sort of defines the battery it comes with, the dash. So that's what we picked up. It's a 16-inch chainsaw. Um, it's supposed to cut hardwood. Well, we hope it will. Says it's faster than gas, I highly doubt that. We're probably not gonna actually try to challenge that. Um, up to 150 cuts per charge in a six by six cedar. Of course, we're not gonna be cutting cedar, but still, the purpose for this for us was that we wanted something we could toss in the side beside or something that if Sue just needed to cut a branch out of the way on one of her horse trails, she could take with her and not feel quite as intimidated by it. Um, All the printing is backwards on the box, so you have to keep turning it and rolling it. Sorry about that. So, 6,600 RPMs. It has a 3 8 low-profile chain. Variable, variable speed trigger. It does have a 16-inch bar and a 0.043-inch chain gauge. Um, what that basically means is it's got a pretty standard chain. It's an Oregon bar and chain. So you can go to your local chainsaw shop and buy a chain for this thing. I do want to point out that even though it is cordless and it might look, like I said, less intimidating, like for Sue, uh, it's still a chainsaw. Uh, at the end of the day, you can still cut your leg off with the thing. So you want to follow all the same safety procedures you'd follow with a regular gas chainsaw. So let's go ahead and pull this thing out of the box. First thing I notice is the, uh, the book. Yeah, their marketing paraphernalia showing you everything else you can get and a chance to win something from Milwaukee. We should probably start filling those up because I feel like we have about a hundred of those now. We may have a little Milwaukee problem. I'm not sure if it's a Milwaukee problem or a blueberry problem, but it's some problem. There's Milwaukee there, there's Milwaukee there, there's Milwaukee there. out of the way, take off some styrofoam, some packaging, so there you go, that's the saw, Got the Vanna White thing here I guess, right? Um, it will still need bar and chain oil because it does still have to oil the bar and that goes in there. It says, must fill with bar and chain oil before use. When filled, hold trigger for 30 seconds. Okay, they want you to oil the chain before you really use it, which makes sense. It is a smaller chain. 
thinner chain, so which doesn't surprise me. Again, it is a cordless chainsaw. And then on this side here, you have two nuts holding the bar on like a regular chainsaw and your adjusting screw, just like a regular chainsaw. I actually think there's a, a wrench in here or whatever they call it on the chainsaw. I thought I saw some, yeah, right up in there. So they do give you the adjusting wrench with the saw. So first impressions are, you know, I think it's going to be pretty cool, but why don't we throw a battery in and grab a pair of safety glasses and go see if we can cut down a tree. All right, so we're out behind the uh, summer kitchen. We've got oil in the saw, we've got a battery in the saw. We've got this birch tree that got the roots messed up quite a bit when we were doing the groundwork here. And it's probably four and a half inches in diameter. So it's not a really good test, but it's what we're going to cut down. So we're going to oil the chain per their instructions. Maybe. So that's an interesting fun fact. Um, in a gas saw, this is an actual brake on the clutch that locks the clutch up. On the electric saw, it disables it electrically. So that took me a minute to figure out. All right, so now we're gonna say the chain is oiled. And I'm not going to give you too many instructions on cutting a tree, but you kind of want a clear path to get away. You want to make sure you're not going to drop it on anything important. In our case, there's a tractor, there's some blackberry bushes, or yeah, blackberry bushes, right? And a fence. So I'm going to cut my notch a little higher up here, and I'm going to drop it right up on the lawn right there. And then I'm going to cut on the other side, and I'm going to leave a hinge. I'll try to stop and show you what I mean. So you see there's about an inch of wood right there. And you see the tree is just slowly tipping over, and you can hear it. And see how it's actually holding itself because of the hinge? Now I'll just finish cutting the hinge. And normally you'd want to get out of here when it starts to go over. It's a small tree, and I kind of knew where it was going. So now we'll cut some firewood up. And it's worth noting that I'm not really putting any force on this. I'm just letting it kind of do its thing, keeping it from kicking back. So you can see, I'll do this one one-handed. So it cuts pretty well. Of course, it's a nice brand new sharp chain.
All right, so I'm pretty impressed so far, but you know what? We've got a wood pile over there. Why don't we go find a hardwood log? It's a little bit bigger in diameter and try making a couple cuts. All right, so we found a hemlock log, which hemlock's still a softwood, but it's, it's pretty hard. And you can see, I mean, it's, well, I mean, I'll send this about nine inches. It's a bunch of knots. So why don't we make a cut right about here through like four knots and through nine or ten inches in diameter. I did just check the battery and it's still completely full, which is not really a surprise, but, you know, we cut up one whole tree. So you can see we cut through three really good knots and for anybody that's cut hemlock especially like on a sawmill or something every time you hit one of those knots you hear the motor bog right down so we'll make a few more cuts where we're not going to be in knots maybe So you'll see how much quicker it cuts when there's no knots in the wood. But we're down to three bars out of four now on the battery. And um, I wasn't noticing any noticeable slowdown on speed. And that's, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine cuts there, plus cutting down that birch tree. Probably could do three times that much before we got low enough on battery to be a problem. So I think it's gonna be a pretty handy little asset. We'll probably make something on the side by side. You know that uh, if you if you kind of look at the side by side on the back side of the roof, I'm thinking maybe we'll have some kind of scabbard where this hangs down in, so the handle doesn't stick up taller than the side by side, and that way it can go with us when we go out and we see something on the trail. Being you know members of the ATV club here in town, one of the things we do a lot is you know trail maintenance. So having something that we can take with us, not having to worry about starting it, it's gonna be quite handy. So I think that's it. I think we'll wrap this up and go plant some asparagus. So we really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.